Uh, break time. When we come back, Chandler and Eddie with their postseason, end of season, all the awards. We'll have some fun with that when we come back. Run it back. Run it up. 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 Run it Welcome back to Run It Back. The uh, the awards, the official ballots were due yesterday. I think it was 6 Eastern. So it's in. We, we can argue still, but it's all in. There's nothing you can change. But we thought, why not? I want to hear from you guys. So Chandler and Eddie, do you guys want to start with your MVP? It doesn't sound like you have a lot of differences right off the top. Y yeah. Oh, well, we're doing oh, third teams. Third team. My bad. Yeah, third team. I mean, we pretty oh, much we're pretty much the same there, except we got. I think you got Fox on. Yeah, I think second. I think the main guy I left off, and I'll probably you know get scrutiny for, is Julius Randle. Yeah, you did. I went Anthony Davis over him, and I just. I don't know. You had LeBron and AD, or just I AD? I got both. I went. What? Just, I went just AD, no LeBron. Okay, let's see. Let's see the awards right now. We are visual right, learners. So we on. have to see them with our ojos, or we cannot understand what we're talking about. God only knows the picks we made. You just described I, my life, Michelle. I know. I, I, I just okay. Here we go. Okay. So you guys, one thousand percent. I mean, right. this is just this is what's gonna happen. Yeah. Right? So why disagree? Wait, Joel and B for sure is gonna happen. We're we're good with that. I Brooke think, Lopez, I, uh, not defensive player of the year. Jaron Jackson. Yeah, that's I've arguable. Seen a lot of Evan Mobley love too. I think Jaron has it. I think the one that may be in the air is Laurie Marketing. A lot of people saying. Jaren Jalen Brunson could win that award. Ooh. Or SGA no, even, it. right? And Shea goes Tyrese Halliburton. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. And Sixth Man of the Year is not up there, too, but we both had quickly, um, Emmanuel. Quick, yeah. yeah. Quickly. Look at the Knicks get Really weird award. Not Bobby year. Portis. Mm, 14 and 10. Shams, not him. And you know I, what's I crazy? Like I know this, the MVP has been like the big talk. Right. I think Always. I would go Giannis second now. Like, Same. You know what I mean? Like, I think, I think he's been the best player on the best team. I think Joel's the MVP. I think he's dominated, leading the, leading the NBA in scoring, putting up the numbers he has in the Eastern Conference. I think he's been unbelievable. And I do think the voter fatigue has an issue, even though it shouldn't, right? Like, why are, why is Agreed. people, it's the MVP of this season. Last year shouldn't matter. 10 years ago shouldn't matter. But I do think Giannis <laughs> should, would be second in my voting. Yeah, I, it's not a bad choice. Like you said, best record in the league. I think he's fifth in scoring. It's not like he's a slouch on that end. He's like fourth in rebounding. He's Giannis. He's incredible. I, I just think <laughs> it's Joel Embiid's time. You lead the league in scoring. You're that dominant. You're that great defensively. And it's not like his record's bad over there. Either. Yeah. So I think uh, I think it's been become, become kind of clear. Jokic missed a lot of games down the stretch. Didn't play as great in the one. But he still he played. played more than the other two guys. Which is yeah, yeah, like one more game than Joel or something, right? So it's like it's like what have you done so. for me lately? Yeah. Um, yeah, I got, I got Jokic. I, I think I'm gonna sticking win. to it. I think Jokic towards the end was just like, I don't even want this stupid yeah. award. There's way too much negativity. I mean, he may not even it, care it, about the award it, anyways. It, it, it was, it, it definitely gave up those vibes for sure. Yes, you could just tell. You could just so you guys as, have, as a voter, you Jokic? yeah, who do you got? You felt that? Like you're, you're, yeah, he's an actual voter. He's, he's got, I just oh, write my own break the news. He's got too much like, to like, tell us. Come on, they'll leak it. Tell us, tell us. You know what, Shams? We'll get it out of you. We'll get it. Kills me. I'm going to get it out of him before we leave here. Uh, okay, so you guys all agree on that, but then we've got all of the teams: third, second, first. This, this is where things might get a little spicy. So we'll start with third team because you know you got to build it up, obviously. Yeah. And here we go. I mean, I went with Julius Randle over LeBron James here, and Anthony Davis over LeBron James. I think they hmm. were more consistent. I think they were more important to their team. And I know LeBron, his value, everything he's done. He's had a great year at his age. I just feel like all these guys were a little bit more deserving. And honestly, I had Sabonis on my second team initially, but I think position-wise, I bumped him down to third. Yeah, Damian Lillard was the name I kind of struggled to remember. He only played 58 games. Mm. Um, and, and, and again, I went AD over Julius Randle, which hurts a little bit, and Julius Randle had a great Is season. that your anti-Knicks bias? It might have been. Okay. I, I, I'm just really impartial to the difference that Anthony Davis made. And this is, this is a year it felt like more than any other year. It turned into a lot of how many games did this guy play? And you're weighing that against that. And I, I don't know how much just you're supposed start. to take that into account. Just okay. start. We got 65 game limit. Next but yeah, year's different. pretty soon we won't yeah. have to weigh that anymore, right? Some of these guys won't even be eligible. That'll be weird next year when some of these names aren't on list because simply they just didn't play the 65 games. That's that's going to be very different to look at. Second team, as we move things on up, you got uh, yo, you got a lot of differences here, guys. See, 
I bumped Jalen to second team. You had him third team, right? I just yeah. think, you know, that duo, the season the Boston Celtics have had, and I think our biggest difference here is I had Luka first team, who are, he was kind of in the MVP talks. He's in uh, pretty much all season long. They fell off majorly at the end there, which I think did hurt him a little bit. But I, I still gave him the edge on first team over Donovan Mitchell. But you, you really can't go wrong. And it's funny, the position. this is why positions is stupid, right? Jokic should be first team all NBA. Yeah. But you right. can't have both. And if, obviously, if we think Joel is the MVP, he's going to be first team. Yeah, I think for me, you know, I went Kevin over Jalen Brown uh, first. Why'd you second do that? Yeah, why did team. you do that? Look, Kevin's been great. He's lost 12 games all year long. He, I know he's been hurt. But I'm just not punishing guys for being hurt. I think he's in the least amount of games of anybody on mm. these teams as well. It's going to be interesting to see if he makes any of the teams. It's been incredible. First 55, 40, 90 ever. Um, but, yeah, like Sam said, Next year, starting next year, he wouldn't qualify to even play on this. I went Donovan first team over Luka, uh, which we'll see here in a second. But he had an like incredible season, 28 points a game. Uh, great. They're, they're the, the four seed all year long. And he's a part of the best defense in the league. And I think that that matters for his case. And people were wondering just how is he going to do on that end of the court. Yep. He's been great. He stepped up. Well, that leads us to first team. First team honors the big boys. You guys have some differences, obviously, as you've seen these lists. They've been setting themselves up for a bunch of differences here. And uh, all right, Chandler. Yeah, I went, I went with Luca over Donovan Mitchell just because of the season he's had individually. Again, he was in top five in MVP voting for the majority of the season. I do think he's a top five player in the NBA, and I think he showed it this year. I just think the end of his season did hurt him, and Donovan Mitchell had a great year in Cleveland. I just think it's interesting, like, the, Kawhi Leonard's back, and he's going to make one of these teams. And SGA mm -hmm. being an all-NBA is so impressive, and that kid's come so far from when he was in Kentucky to drafted to the Clippers to now he's an actual star in this league. So the fact that he's going to be considered a top 10 to 15 player in the NBA is special. Yeah, we got four of those guys the same. Kawhi, I'm happy you mentioned his name because he's the, he's one of the guys who's tough to leave off. And I don't envy guys with these votes. I, 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 I know we're doing this show. I think it's the best show, best basketball show on TV. Please don't make me eligible to vote for any of these things because this is a lot of scrutiny. And I don't need my name and my votes out there to get scrutinized. Would you be a guy that would be honest, like open about who you voted? I used to have a vote. Like I, I would tell you who I voted for. I would yeah, you? I'm pretty transparent. Like it comes out anyway. <laughs> later on, it comes out anyway. I know. Don't you want to get ahead of the story? Mm. Come on. Not Sean. my own story. I like getting ahead of every other story. It's not my Fine. own story. Fine. 